and alongside that, of course, can I also welcome three remarkable lead actors who have gone the way of this series with exceptional skill and dedication, and that is, of course, Roshan Matthews right on stage, and the BNB, sir, thank you so much for joining us. As I mentioned earlier, Namisha is a bit under the weather, and if she gets better, she might just join us in a bit, all right? But for right now, this is your cue for photos uh, for my friends from the press. Thank you. One step forward, thank you. So this was a long journey uh, for me. I was working on a documentary in 2015 called India in a Day. It was a Google project. And um, it was a crowdsourced project. So people all over India on one day would send me footage. And I would use that to create a documentary. That shoot date was October 10th, 2015. And on the same day, I received footage of an ivory raid in Delhi. Um, and I came from the Wildlife Trust of India. And it was basically officers breaking down a door and finding all this ivory. And I was shocked. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Contacted the Wildlife Trust. I said, what is this? And they said, oh, we did the biggest ivory raid in the history of India on your shoot day. So we thought we would send you the footage. And I said, I cannot use this footage. However, give me a few years. I have one more project to do, and then I will do an entire project on this. So after that, I started to research, get to know them, got, got to know their, their wildlife crime fighters. And I didn't think that job title existed. And I was so enamored by these people and their altruism. The result of that is this series. Oh, thank you so much. I can, I can see why the story needs to be told. And I can see why you wanted to tell the story so badly. So thank you so much for doing that. And here we are, I guess. And we're actually going to bring it to you guys. But before that, of course, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call upon stage someone very, very special. So special that I think that whatever I say, or we all say collectively, there's yeah. absolutely no... <laughs> Please don't. No, she says. No, no, no. Okay, well, stop. You can tell me in my year later. How about Global Icon? I mean, no, no, it has no, to be said. I'm going to walk off straight. Actor par excellence. Producer, entrepreneur, and now, of course, okay, how about this one? Executive producer for Porsche. That's fine, right? With your production company, Eternal Sunshine Productions. So, it'll be great for us to know, you know, how did this come into being and what made you come on board as executive producer? <laughs> so, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Um, so fun story which I have never said before. Uh, Richie and I met in, back in 2022. I was uh, full blown pregnant. Um, just about to pop. Yeah, very close to popping. Uh, we spoke about everything under the sun. We spoke about parenting, we spoke about just cinema, movies, art. Um, and in that meeting he took me through the world of poetry. I mean, firstly, I was flabbergasted that it was all based on true events. Um, and then we kept talking, you know, he was gracious enough to share uh, the first two episodes. 
um, I didn't watch the whole show. But I have to say, forget executive producer, I just responded as a person. When I saw the show, A, I couldn't stop watching it. Like it was, it's a binge and how. Um, you don't, you can't take your eyes off the screen. You can't take your, you know, take yourself away from these characters. Um, Nimisha is not here today, but I mean, she's outstanding. Roshan, who I have the honor of working with, is unbelievable. And Dibyan sir, and, and, and not just the three of them, the whole cast, they really, really hold, you know, they hold your attention to the screen. And of course, Richie has told the story so beautifully. Um, it just really moved me. It moved me emotionally, it moved me physically towards him saying, to a poacher, which really looks like another winner in the making. So, let me just get straight to it. What is the secret sauce to Prime Video's Ek Ke Baade Thammakidar success leading to what makes poacher so special? Oh wow, okay. First of all, a very warm welcome to everybody. Thank you so much for being here with us. You're right, Rani. It's been a busy 2023 uh, for us. Uh, we had shows like Fuzzy, The Heart, Jubilee, and so many more. In fact, we had the highest number of local originals that we launched in 2023 ever. So it's a good, it's a good base to set off of. Uh, not just shows. We actually also had movies. Uh, we had Patan. We had uh, Jailer, and of course we had. Rocky and Rani keep playing Rani as well on the service. So, you know, there's, there's a bit of those connections that go way back, yes. right? So that's awesome. And 2024, as you rightly pointed out, has started off, you know, just as strong. Our recent original Indian Police Force became the most binge-watched first season of a prime video Indian original ever. So, it's a good place to be. Uh, we also had a phenomenal response to Tiger 3 uh, that we had on the service earlier in January. We had the season finale of The Reacher, and now we have Poacher. So, yeah, Police, Tiger, Poacher, Police, Tiger, Poacher, you know, there's something there. Absolutely, right? uh, I just got that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a secret, and to your, to your point of what, what makes it, what makes it, you know, what's our secret sauce? Uh, our secret is actually pretty simple to articulate, uh, but it's uh, hard to consistently execute. And it's actually rooted in our principles of customer obsession and something that all the teams in Prime Video uh, diligently and very steadfastly uphold every single day, which is to find, showcase, and celebrate the great stories and the great storytellers from across the country. And compelling, authentic narratives that can come from anywhere. Experience while watching the eight episodes, I experienced over two years while I was researching it. Um, so it was a slow burn for me and a slow realization. And as I gather all of that information, I literally just take the moments that I responded so viscerally to as a human being, and I, and I channel that into the series, basically. So obviously I've curated what to do and what, what, not, what to use and what not to use. This is a fictionalized dramatization of true events. Um, it's inspired by the biggest elephant motion case in Indian history. Many characters are amalgamations and some of them are direct. Um, I will say generally I, I will do character extrapolations in backgrounds of characters, personal stories, um, which are based on educated guesses. And I try not to veer away from the criminal aspect because I cannot, there's a lot of strange things in poetry you'll see as the episodes go, they get faster paced and faster paced and the scenes get crazier. And I cannot make some of those premises up. They're just too strange. Well, thank you for that. I'm going to add another question to you. And not being unfair to anybody else on this panel, I hope you don't mind. Uh, but I must ask you, casting stories are my favorite. So please, please tell us how these two gentlemen arrive at the scene or in the forest with you. Honestly, it was a very straightforward process of auditioning. Um, and all of these actors, Nimisha, um, Roshan, Dibyanlu, they auditioned. They all surpassed my expectation of, of what I thought they could do with these roles. Um, and when I look at this too, I look at it as we are going into the jungle. And so we're going to be there for several months together. There are going to be leeches. We're going to be in environments where elephants come and go and we can't meet them. 
uh, but we have to have a certain type of personality that's, that's intrepid. And so it's not just the talent, it's also, are you ready to go on a real adventure? Because we are going into the unknown on this project. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for that, Roshan. Because of course we're talking about what role is modeled on real life, wildlife hero, and that is Jose Luis. Um, do you want to talk to us about the preparation? Maybe some of those leeches he was referring to or mentioning? Sorry, I didn't get the last sentence. Maybe, you know, the leeches that he was referring to oh, mentioning, I don't leeches. know what, what might have happened in the jungle. So. Yeah, no, I'll leave the leeches for later. Uh, <laughs> but the person who my character is based on is uh, oh, somebody who works in the Wildlife Trust of India, still. Uh, he's one of the most interesting people that I've met in yeah, life, yeah, period. He's also somebody who's a treasure trove as far as an actor who is looking to portray him as a character in a, in a piece or in a, in a project is concerned. There is so much there that after my first conversation with him where we luckily immediately found a connect. He's also from the same part of Kerala roughly where I come from. So the language that we speak, the dialect is very similar except this area of expertise of his, uh, wildlife crime or wildlife conservation is something that I obviously do not have that much knowledge about as much as he does. And he has a great understanding of the socio-political scenario in Kerala as well. He's very rooted, he works in Delhi but he knows everything that's going on everywhere. So after my first interaction with him, which was a long phone call, I called Richie up and I asked Richie if I, if, uh, I said I, I feel like we should have a personal approach to this, try and understand the man from inside rather than try and portray him from outside and Richie said yeah that's exactly how I want you to go about it and that, that was what I tried to do. I tried to understand the man, I tried to understand the reasons he had for doing the things that he does, I tried to understand where he gets this passion from and where he finds his satisfaction from because it's not like these guys are celebrated or glorified, there's no glory that comes to them, there's no reward that comes to them. Uh, in this particular incident that we're representing, he's on paper, he's technically not even part of the team. You know, he's somebody who comes in to help out. So that for me was very interesting to find out what drives a man to do something like that. And <laughs> well, thank you so much. The new service is for you. I think it'll be nice for you to tell us how easy or difficult was Neil Banerjee as a character for you to portray. Uh, no, it was actually uh, uh, a process because, uh, honestly speaking, uh, Richie of course, is a fantastic creator and it, it was actually a well researched script. It's a fantastic script, watertight script and, uh, and my character is Neil Banerjee who is actually uh, uh, is a field director in the Kerala Forest Department and uh, as well as an ex-intelligence guy. So he is actually, he is making this team, he is leading the team, but he is leading the team on his own term. And, like, uh, and he is actually, he knows the bill, he knows the, uh, because the whole, uh, everything is based on the uh, uh, court of and testimonials. So it, it was there, so I, and he knows how to deal with those areas. Uh, so it was fantastic, and but it is a dramatization and fictionalization of the because we are making a, a crime thriller actually. It is a it is a crime thriller. It is a fun series also to watch, and because uh, uh, there are a lot of awareness, there are a lot of social issues, and uh, but at the same time it is an entertaining series. So uh, so it's a it has a narrative. So uh, so there are a lot of moments that uh, and. I am, uh, my character is based on a real life character, I never met that person in my life, I know that we, we have talk, uh, talked about it and but the thing is that it was just one man in Riazo that I, whatever question I used to have, like, so one, one answer is from this, because it's, it's sorted, it's done, so what I uh, uh, did to do is to catch the soul of the character rather not to Imitate or be that character, be that human being. So, so it was, it was a, it was a fantastic uh, size you and fantastic crew. So and uh, and the process is so interesting. So slowly, 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 up character to pakke lete ho. Sir, आपके बारे में कितने कमी कि आप हमेशा ये करते हो, लेकिन इस बार भी ये मौका आपने हमें दिया है, इसके लिए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया. अब एंड टू द एंड टू सर प्लीज वंस अगेन थैंक यू. Thank you, Sushant, this is for you. <coughs> you often
often spoken, actually we have often spoken about Prime Video creating compelling stories and offering shows and movies that resonate with viewers. But here's my question with Ocha, what will make it such a compelling watch? Because this word, compelling, has not left the room since we started talking about this show. I hope it never leaves. Uh, Amen. What did everybody think of the trailer? Can I get a reaction please? I think that's your answer. Um, <laughs> it's, I think, I think that's been, you know, a master craftsman that Richie is. Um, I think audiences are in for, as Dipendi rightly pointed out, it is laden with a message that will provoke, inspire, and force you to act. But at the same time, it is a crime drama. It's a crime thriller, edge of the seat thriller, that is riveting from start to finish. Right? So it is, you know, when we, when we think about how we program our shows and movies on Prime Video, we are always looking for, you know, shows that are entertaining, obviously, first and foremost, but at the same time, leave something behind, right? right? It can inspire you, it can provoke you, it can make you reflect, wow. it can make you reimagine your own personal life or your relationships and, you know, being a force of change is something that we take a lot of pride in. And with Poacher, I think we have, if I may say so, the perfect combination of being richly, you know, entertaining, but at the same time, deeply ready all over the world. And I cannot wait to bring this to our customers. It's too, too late. You can't do this sitting right next to you. It's the 15th and you're asking me to wait. I will wait, because Alia, we have no choice at this point. But my question, of course, is to you now from, I am sorry, I'm doing this all over again, okay? Actor, entrepreneur. <laughs> you have to stop, this is like, shall we be now? No, but here's my question to you. I would love to know your thoughts and vision as a producer and an EP for culture. My thoughts. Vision. My vision? My vision? The vision is there. It's in front of us. I would say my feelings, my emotions, my um, excitement for the world to see it. The vision actually I would say collectively with the team um, and you know a moment for Amazon here just because you know they are such a fa fabulous platform. They give that reach uh, to a show like Poacher um, from the very beginning. The first time we all got on to a marketing call, the feeling was, yeah, just go genuine. Just go real. The show will do its talking. I said, marketing is not Just let the content do the talking and it's doing it. Um, I think you just call me like, I can be the screen mascot for you all right now uh, to just say this louder and louder, but both your releases is out in the world on the 23rd of Feb. And um, the vision is out there for the world to see. Thank you. Thank you so much for adding your weight, your voice and your love to that. That brings me to Manish. Hi Manish, how are you doing? Well, I want to ask you, when Richie first came to you with Bocha, you kind of briefly mentioned in the start, you know, but let's go to that. How did Prime Video actually get associated? So before I get to the... There's one Emmy Award winning... Uh, one portion of an Emmy Award winning director one portion of an uh, Oscar winning production company, one portion of a national award winning executive producer, and a very, very, very generous portion of the stellar star cast that we have in the casting. Wow. Like that's really what, you know, and why, you know, this is something that we're so, so excited about. So it was a no brainer, you know, it was not something that all of us had to put too much of a mind to. It really was a no brainer. Now let me come to the how. Uh, we call ourselves story chasers. You know, we can do anything and everything to chase good stories. Uh, this is about a year ago in, in London, exactly a year ago in London. I had a really short window to meet Richie in this neighborhood called Shoreditch. And uh, because I had to get all the way across London through that traffic, uh, you know, at a particular time, I, I found to, I managed to get to him two tubes journeys and two bus journeys later, and I, and I met Richie. And then, you know, we had this long conversation 
a really heartwarming breakfast and then we just knew that this is something that had to be done. And so I think that was the first thing that we did. The second was, uh, I, I would believe, our conversation with uh, Ray and Sean, who are the producers of the show. Uh, it's not just about Amazon selecting a show like Bocha, but I think it's also the producers selecting a platform and a service like Amazon. And I think there are a few things that work for both of us and why this is such a beautiful marriage of sorts. Uh, we've been doing this for now about eight years in this country. We serve content in 10 languages. We've been the first ones to go deep into this country, penetrate with all these languages, films, shows, uh, and taking all this content globally, right? So the discussions initially were a lot around how do we take a multilingual show? If you, I, I generally am drawn to true stories. I think um, truth is stranger than fiction. Um, and I think fictionalized dramatization of true stories is in fact the most truthful way to talk about our world. I think audiences can sense when they see truth in a performance, in a moment. I think they're very savvy. Um, and so for me, when there's a true story at the heart of it, I mean, our world is so complicated. And within that, the drama we find and the story's worth telling. And I fundamentally believe that the best version of a storyteller is somebody who's trying to make the world a better place. And it's a very idealistic statement I'm making. Um, and that can be diversion. That can be 90 minutes of laughter still making the world a better place. In this case, as you said, you've answered the question. These are the voiceless. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to have a lot of Malayalam in this because it's where the characters were. It's also the language the elephants of that region understand. Um, I, I feel very, very strongly about trying to do stories for and about people or life um, that need to be told. And if it doesn't need to be told by me, I'm very happy to stand back. Thank you, Richie, and thank you for your question. Our next question continues to you, Richie, and this comes from Pooja, who is representing Awesome Team. Straight. Yeah, hi. Uh, so, congratulations, everyone. The trailer looks very promising, and it comes uh, deep from my heart, because and as an animal lover, such stories needs to be told. So thank you for diving into such subject. Uh, my question to you is that uh, the series is multilingual, uh, based in Malayalam, Hindi, and English. How challenging was it to direct it? Uh, it was in, in separate things because the Malayalam was not so challenging because I had such a great team. I mean, it was challenging, but there are many challenges in a project like this. Uh, what was amazing about the Malayalam is that you have actors who are taking ownership, like Roshan and Denisha, taking ownership of their language. And I worked with an amazing dialogue writer um, who completely converted everything I knew. Because I wrote it in English and I really wanted to stick to that English. Um, translations, the subtitling that you see in English, it's exactly what I wrote. And then obviously the Malayalam has to alter that a little bit. Hindi and English is a little bit of an easier translation and I understand Hindi so it's fine. Malayalam, I don't understand a word. I understand the five words now, and I cannot say them here because it's not proper. Um, but we had such a system of checks and balances between Gopan, our, first, our writer, and then we had people on set, and Roshan would do a quality check, and then afterwards in post-production we would do a quality check. During when I was, I'd studied each translation so that when we're on set directing a scene, I'm, I'm aware acoustically of what I'm listening for when sentences start and end. Sometimes they're very long sentences. Um, but it's, it's, uh, it, it was, I've also never shot in the jungle. I've never shot in uh, near elephant corridors. Never shot a story on behalf of a species that will never see it. Thank you, Richie. Thank you so much, Pooja. Our next question continues to you, Richie. This is Nishad from News 18. What happened? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Hi. Hello, Hi. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my question to you is that character is What made you cast a woman in the story? So, Nimisha's character, again, I, sorry she can't be here. Um, you know, she, she is part of the heart of the show. 
Um, Namisha's character is... Thank you, Rishia. Thank you for that question, Rishia. That was wonderful. Our next question, of course, is for the BN Dusa, and this comes from Namita. Hi, Namita. Are you here? Hi. Namita represents uh, the Punjab history. Thank you so much, Rohini. Thanks. And thank you so much, all of you. Congratulations to you. It's wonderful and great to be a part of a trailer launch of such a series, Pocha. And my question goes to you, Divindu, sir. We have seen you playing some really impactful characters and each of your work has always been appreciated. So how does it feel to be a part of uh, this uh, series, Pocha, firstly? And secondly, I want to ask you is like, what comes more easier to you? Playing characters which are close to your personality or playing characters which are adapted from the real life like this one as me? Uh, thank you so much for the question. Um, uh, I think I am a chameleon. I want to be a chameleon all the time. I don't, I don't want to play myself. Uh, I never, I never want to do that in my life. So and yeah, uh, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, people are appreciating a few of my works, and I am really glad for. I am really glad for that I have that connection with the audience, and the people are liking it. So I like, am really grateful to. And this will be the uh, 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 special yeah. series for me actually. Uh, I must tell you. Because there are a lot of things that you know I I sometimes I want to do in life but I, I cannot because I I want to be a uh, like conservationist but I am not an activist. I I don't I, I cannot do it on the ground, but it's a, it's a nice profession I am in that I can I can be in disguise and I can do this and for a good cause and at the same time it's an entertaining series and, uh, and uh, uh, the beauty of uh, these characters are actually uh, Then I get the script to read, right? And he's one of the best writers whose works I've read, who I've gotten to uh, collaborate with. It was such an exciting script, it's so strange because it's all based on true events and you can't write fiction that way, Richie said this multiple times. It doesn't follow a formula, it doesn't have a set structure that we're familiar with. These guys have nothing to go with in their investigation, nothing to assist them, no systems in place, no guns to pull out, it's all Jugaad. So it seemed like such a fun script to play. Uh, and uh, the character, uh, who I mean the real life person who my character is based on, the character, the way it's written, He's a computer programmer, he works in the Wildlife Trust of India, he's uh, deeply interested in snakes, he's making an app on snakes, he's a family man, he's a man who leads multiple, leads multiple lives, keeps a lot of secrets, does a lot of dangerous things, puts his life on the line for nothing in return. None of these things I do. So, it was so exciting to attempt to be that person. So, yeah, it was something that checked all the boxes. Thank you, Nawaz, for your question and thank you, Roshan, for that really nice sneak peek into your character. Now, I can't wait to watch it, man. That was very well done. There's a lot more there. You can't wait, really. Last question, Arun. Okay, uh, Litwin is here with us. Hi, Litwin. There's a mic coming to you. And your question is for Roshan again. Hi. Um, oh, you. Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much. It was a really amazing trailer. Uh, really enjoyed it. And especially as uh, people coming from Kerala, uh, we would like to say that look, there is this part. If, um, thank you so much for bringing up this story because there is something that, that we are really not proud of and the real world really wants to know. Uh, so the question is Roshan. Roshan, we have worked with uh, Nimisha on uh, the Kinda Legacy and also shared screen with Dalia. So how was your experience working with such a Silla cast in Ocha and also directed by uh, Michi? And uh, how did you feel when you heard that uh, Alia is back with this podcast? I mean, Okay, thank you so much for that question. Uh, yeah, Nimisha has been such a fabulous performer in Malayalam since the first film that she did there, and it's been she's been an actor who I've been waiting to work. I guess the project you mentioned was the first time I got to work with her, which also happens to be the set um, on which I received the script for Poacher and read it. And I found out that Nimisha was also going to be part of the show. And uh, this was a period where Nimisha and I did three projects together in a row. And it was the most magical journey that I've had with any co-actor. Firstly, this, this was the first series I did. This was the first time I traveled to uh, traveled with the cast and a particular character with a crew for this long period of time. 
and then there was all the work that Nivisha and I had done before that. So it, it was great to have that chemistry um, when the project began because uh, once you watch the show, you know these guys are already friends from before the story begins in Pocha. So it was nice to be able to bring that on set, you know, preset, and it was already in place. At least that part of it. Uh, that's a sense of comfort, you know, that uh, an actor can really use, especially on the first few days of shoot. Uh, she's also an incredibly exciting co-actor to work with because Ali and I were discussing this earlier. She's unpredictable. So you can't go in with a set plan on how you want to play a scene out because Nimisha will break that for you. So you have to be there, be very much in the moment and react to what's happening or what she's throwing at you. And she's great to, you know, play tennis with uh, <laughs> while you're doing a scene. Acting tennis, yeah. Uh, then, uh, I think overall, I mean, like Nimisha, Ribiendu, uh, the rest of the cast and the crew that uh, I got to work with on Pocha, uh, Johanna, cinematographer, Richie, these are all people who, I had a great time with, but that's very personal, but professionally speaking, these are all people who inspired me on a daily basis, uh, which is also one of the reasons why the show and the period of time we spend shooting for it stays memorable, because four months is a long time if you're not happy on the set. <laughs> So I, I like that's that's something I'm very grateful for. About Alia being here, I am happy, I am honored, and I'm supremely grateful for that because the last time I was on a stage that was this big in front of a crowd that was this big um, was for a project that gave birth to Eternal Sunshine Productions, and that was a song launch. And at that point, Alia was my co-actor. And uh, it was also one of, I think, the most memorable, uh, biggest um, uh, projects in my career so far. Something I was very fortunate to be part of. And through that journey, uh, I've, uh, I mean, I always knew Ali as an artist through the work that she's done. And I have a great deal of respect for her and the work that she chooses to do and how she does it. Uh, but also as a person, from the little that I know of her, she's somebody who's very driven by passion, driven by emotion. You must have noticed how earlier when she got a question about her vision with the project, uh, her answer was very rooted in emotion. So for somebody who works with that focus, somebody who's driven by what the heart wants, um, I'm very, very tilting the spotlight towards the show and the rest of us, uh, you know, we're extremely thankful for that, Alia. And I also, you know, the, the, the optimist in me wants to continue believing that when you do something with a lot of heart and with the right intent and with empathy and do it sensitively, good things happen. Like Amazon Prime getting on board and Adia associating with the project and all of you turning up here today. So thank you to all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that question. Yeah, really. Right there. I mean, you just spoke to <coughs> all of us on this stage right now. Yeah, mic drop, Roshan, mic drop. Uh, but we do have a couple more questions. And this one, of course, goes to you, Sushant, and asking you the question, is Vivek? Vivek is representing the Hindu today. Hi, Sushant. Uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, this is the first time uh, Prime Video is teaming up with uh, Mr. Mehta and uh, QC Entertainment. So, are there talks or plans to kind of extend this partnership? Uh, could we see more projects uh, with the same team? I think that is just another way of asking us when is Poacher season two, Richie? Nice. I think we just got asked that question. Yeah. Wait, are you asking me that question? Somebody just asked us, you know, broadly framed, the question was framed as do we see more season collaborations two. with Richie and his team? And I think that was just another way of asking us when is season two. You want me to answer that? No. <laughs> Uh, but it, you know, it's um, it's it's been such a such a great journey. And first of all, you know, I love how Roshan kept throwing some breadcrumbs about the show, you know, as you were as you were sharing answers. Now you know a little about you know the backstory of some of the characters as well. Uh, it's been you know I had the opportunity to um, you know as Manish was mentioning about a year ago we started this journey and we knew that. This is a story that we had to tell. Um, it's been an incredible, incredible journey for the entire team. And I honestly cannot wait to see what more we can do. So let me leave it at that. Right now it is Poacher, 
on the 23rd of February. Thank you for your question. Thank you, Scott. Uh, Manish, you have to end this for us right now. But I'm going to tell you once again to tell this. Everyone in this room is so special. They're followed, their publications are followed, and why we're doing this, you know, is to tell this really important story. But I think that Time Video is doing something beyond just telling a story. You also have the QR code at the end of the episode. It'd be great if you could just underline that for us before we go out tonight. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think some of these things have come together so naturally and uh, I think uh, some of the best things are effortless. I think our partnership has been, uh, the way this show came together has been, uh, the way we partnered with Alia and her production company who has such a you know, strong you know, essence at the, you know, at the heart of what they do. Uh, and it's been effortless and you know as we were evaluating you know what else we could do and how how we could naturally contribute uh, was the idea of putting this QR code you know it's in the episodes uh, talk about it tell your friends please communicate to your audiences this is a way for us to be able to give back in some way you know possible and of course I think there's a message in the show it's entertaining but there's a message in there but do your part if you can and yeah there's a QR where you can contribute and the proceeds will go towards uh, you know some really really noble cause towards other species on this planet who are I think at this stage more important than us uh, you know and their survival depends and our survival depends on theirs so uh, please thank you you know why you said that Manish I really appreciate it yes a big hand and a round of applause for that can I, can I say one more I just want to say one more thing. Um, this, the union of everyone on this stage, Anisha, of course, the producer, Alia, um, Manish and Sushant, and Abdullah Prime, it all, and even the real people I met, it all stemmed down to a very simple, basic equation. I would sit down with them and look them in the eye. This would happen. It was me sitting with you. It was me sitting with you. In it, it, I, it was an exam. I was like almost nervous and you know, Richie was like, And vice versa. Are you in this? I'm like, yes I am. But you, but you remember what I said to you when I met you here. Yeah. I met them here and I said, I made X amount of promises to the real people. And I need to keep those promises. And if this union works, can you keep those promises? And you said yes. And that's what this is. I, I still have, uh, you remember you gave me the postcard with, yes. you know, the picture of the elephant in the back. Right. I have that pin yes, on my son's uh, yes. softboard in the house. So, so thank you. It, it comes down to handshake agreements, uh, uh, which are based purely on, are you as good as your word? Absolutely. And that's how this is all translated to this point. And yes, we're talking about elephants and poaching. There's a message in this. However, all we ask you to do is press play on episode one. If you don't get to episode eight, that's on us. Okay, that's our fault. Wow. Press play. On. You can also choose the language of your choice. Uh, so yeah, we are making it available and accessible in many many languages. So you know, this is meant for audiences worldwide. I hope you enjoy it. All. Thank you. you know what I love most, gentlemen, is the fact that usually. Um, I need to wrap things up, alright? But this is perhaps the most organic end to a press con that we've ever done and we kind of went off script a little bit as well towards the end. And that tells all of you how passionately we feel about this wonderful series that's dropping on the 23rd. Thank you so much for your time and of course before we go there will be photographs and we will make that happen as my friends in the press will indicate Alia Ma'am Ajayi. So while that happens, thank you so much and don't forget 23rd of February on Prime Video. Thank you so much for being with us today and thank you everybody on stage. Arun Pooch!